Okay, we're back with StarCraft. Let's go ahead and continue here with the Ulnar missions. We'll see what's gonna happen here. Yeah, what is this thing? It's like a, kind of like a planet though. Cause it like, this ship is huge and this thing dwarfs it. I guess this is like a Death Star or something. I'm afraid the Spear of Adun will not be able to assist you inside the temple. Please be careful, Hyrule. Okay. Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. How exactly did he do that? The other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? Good question. I'm going into the Alnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risked your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Borazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. So yeah, this is gonna be a hero mission, isn't it? I can definitely tell. Sounds good. Still, the we are gonna see what the yeah. And they await your evaluation. Oh, we have a Corsair. Hmm. They have the classic line. This is good against turrets. Um. I like the Phoenix. I like the Phoenix. Uh, the thing is, the Corsair I never really did find too useful. What else can I? Okay. Oh yeah, we have this energizer too, which I don't really know. I like what I have right now. This is gonna be an Artanis mission anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Let's take care of our Solarite. Which we can't, because when will these unlock? I don't know. Since we arrived here, the keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the keystone acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the origin point information was stored. As if the keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. Interesting. Anyways, let's get started on this mission. Artanis. Adun Toridas, Hyrak. Borazun. I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artanis. If we return, but of course we will, because I'm going to succeed. But this is cool, we get to control Artanis, which only happened a few times in Brood Wars. And back then he was flying in a, what you call it, a scout. But I'm interested to see what kind of abilities he has. Cutscene. Nice. I have come seeking the Zelnaga.
seems fate has drawn us together. We should not attempt it further. Okay, it looks like this is a Kerrigan and Artanis mission. Cool. God, Kerrigan got wrecked there. She's supposed to be like really OP. But I guess not not always. Okay, well, this is interesting. She has Kinetic Blast. I remember these. Banelings. Lightning Dash charges forward. Uh, resurgence. Invulnerability for 3 seconds upon taking lethal damage. Astral Winds. Heal. And Shield Regeneration. Okay. Sounds good. Uh... Yeah, okay. We'll just attack, I guess. It seems the temple has guardians. I will deal with them. Our path is clear. Okay, it's easy like that. Yeah, these two are really powerful. Do you sense um that? a great power awakens within this construct. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be essentially we're playing League of Legends, aren't we? All right. So this is he charges shields really quickly. Yeah, this is good. Um. Micromanaging two two heroes is not too bad. The future is ours. So we should be fine here. Bam. Yeah, Artanis is I think gonna be taking up the brunt of the damage here because first of all Kerrigan can attack from range. And second she's only on HP, whereas he will have to destroy it to open the doorway. Out. Now I know what to do against that. Oh, you can stun him. That's good. Get out. Yeah, now, once you figure out how to fight these things. They're not even wounded, but whatever. Uh, I guess we'll wait a second. Oh. Oh, he can blink. That's interesting. He can blink. That's good. We gotta destroy this thing on our own. Well, we can warp back. Get out of there. You spawn some Bane links here. Holy shit, that's powerful. And his heal is really powerful as well. We'll get this thing. Yeah. I like these types of missions. They were more interesting in the old StarCraft when it was um, like you commanding actual units, not heroes. And back then the heroes weren't so like uh, unique. They were a bit more challenging back then, but this is fine. I mean, this is a fun like little distraction mission. Forgot when I started recording. I'm such an idiot. We've only been going for 3 minutes 41. 
But we had a lot of cutscenes. See, we're all friends here. Alright, you destroy these things. Kerrigan. Oh, this only goes for a single unit. Yeah. Talk about wrecking shit. Alright, you go and destroy them. This is basically a gauntlet until this thing activates. Uh, you spawn some Banelings here. Okay, well, I wish we had units this powerful, but then that would be kind of OP. Cool, just take care of that Taldarim. Her, um, this attack recharges really quickly, so I need to use it more. Oh fuck, Colossi. Destroy one of these. You get some Banelings up. Focus on that. Alright. Use our heal. Oh, well, I guess not. I see now. The Zelnaga were the first. Born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the keystone and find our way here. Isn't this like the same plot as Mass Effect? Indeed we have. So, yeah, isn't this the same plot as Mass Effect 2? Or Mass Effect in general? With like the... What you call it? Oh, fuck. So banelings up. These banelings are really useful. Alright, you carry again, you need to... Fine. Destroy one of these hybrids. Okay, let's get these. These hybrids need to be destroyed. And they're pretty much dead right away. Yeah, Kerrigan is definitely weaker than our tennis. Um, either they've nerfed Kerrigan or our tennis is really OP. You stay back. Okay, or we can let them just destroy the construct. Uh, let's put it like right here. Kerrigan. Oh shit, what the hell? Why did you lose so much life, Artanis? That was weird. I don't get it. Didn't the previous one open as well? I'm guessing there's going to be three of these maps. The future is ours. Oh, this is blocked. I was going to say. Our path it's keeping a lookout on those extra objectives. Our oh, I can use another one of these. Heal us up fully. Together, we I thought you could activate that other door as well, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. I just felt like destroying that medevac. I don't know why. 
feel like there's gonna be something over here. The future is ours. Oh no. Everything is pretty linear, so I think I should be able to get all three of these optional things. Wait. Hybrid. Oh. Make it quick. Heal. That was a waste of a heal. So I'm gonna take damage. Carry gun. Okay, good. Oh, well. Mm, I don't think so. This charge is really powerful as well. And the banelings as well. Let's go this way. Oh, this is where the optional thing is gonna be, isn't it? Yep. You go that way, Banelings. Let's see if you can destroy something. Oh. Siege tank. You know what, Kerrigan? You can take care of that. Oh, get out. Oh, that's what this... Okay, I get it. I was in that the first time. That's why Artanis took some damage. I would like to get another one of these up. Luckily, this cooldown is really short. Uh, let's see. I'm still doing well on time. Let's see. Oh, shit. That's what I'm doing, don't worry. Artanis, don't just stand there. Let's see what they're gonna drop. Okay, yeah, this is going well. Banelings. Oh, Kerrigan, you're gonna... Again, her ability, that's really powerful. That was my favorite one in... Part of the swarm as well. But yeah, Kerrigan was kind of customizable in the first, in Heart of the Swarm. But yeah, that ability was always my favorite. So the Zerg and the Protoss, essentially. Purity of essence and form. The Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. Exactly. Let's get a going here. But this is cool because I this must be the final hall. I'll say it in a bit. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under What is that red one? We haven't seen that one before. I was gonna say, um, this is like, I like what they did with the story because they did say that this is gonna be the final, the final game of kind of this universe, but with this plot point they're setting up, you can essentially have like Starcraft 3 be 
the same thing just with like a different universe or like a different race which I wouldn't mind I would like to see if they make like a Starcraft 3 like actually have new races that I guess kind of function similarly to these two but are still kind of different I like the idea behind that let's go let's go and do this I don't think that's gonna be happening really. The chances of that are slim, I'll say that much. Oh wait. Use your ability, Artanis, don't be Don't be a dick. Alright. Yeah, this I don't think the Terrans are standing much of a chance. I'll have to wait here. Cool, we can get moving. Looking out for that final objective or Cell Naga device. Don't want to miss it because that's the most frustrating if you miss the final one. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be happening either. Nice ob observation, Kerrigan, that. That really opened up a lot. Oh, wait. I thought there was something up there, but I guess not. Kerrigan. Let's heal. Even though Kerrigan doesn't need it, she's being protected. Uh, yeah. Still linear. Just keeping an eye on it. I don't want to make a stupid mistake. Or a stupid mistake. Cool. Heal up. Let's see, nothing here. This dash ability is so good. Just like wrecks everything. I hope I hope we get to uh, have these heroes for more missions as well. Not even Kerrigan because she was available for most of the heart of the swarm. But Artanis is really cool. So I hope he'll be available for more missions here. I think this is where I need to go. Yep. Well, that's all I wanted. That makes no sense, but I'm sure... I'm sure whatever the Zalnaga were smoking was some good shit. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh yeah, I should... There we go. Uh, focus on that one. This is one. Uh, this one's gonna be really strong. Yeah, this thing. I don't like the look of it. Use all all, all our abilities here. Stun it for a bit. Okay, let's do some micromanagement. Whatever, he's gonna survive. It's yeah. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. Okay, that was, I guess, mission complete. Easy, very easy, but but fun, but a lot of fun. Civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. Ahead, and our 
salvation within. I don't think that's gonna how it, not exactly how it's gonna go. We are gonna get our asses kicked, I think. Something's not right here. Zonaka. No. They're dead, Artanis. So easily broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer. Okay. That was the end of the mission. Holy shit. Deal 750 to, with Artanis' lightning dash and kill 20 units with the spawn bane. Well, whatever. All right. Oh, we get an achievement just for completing it. Well, it's like, you can see they couldn't come up with three achievements for this mission. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.